Welcome back to the Below the Rim podcast. This is just Riley talking. Um, I just wanted to let you know this was recorded back in October. So if anything today with our chat with Nasser sounds a little off or old, it's because it is. Um, We apologize for the delay and our scheduling, but everything's back on track now. Please go to Apple Podcasts and rate and review the show. It really helps. Uh, Honestly, take someone's phone, you know, someone in your family. Just snag their phone. They'll be like, what are you doing with my phone? And then be like, hold on, I just got to do something. And then just rate and review the show. And then log into their YouTube and like and subscribe on the YouTube. And then give them back their phone. Um, It would really help us out. So make sure to do that. And enjoy our second conversation with uh, my good friend Nasser Ahmed. All right. We can let this shit ride out. We're only talking about wins over here. We can keep talking about it. (laughs) (laughs) Relax. Uh, welcome back to Below the Rim, the home of layups, charge, and corner threes. I'm Riley. I'm Ryan. And, uh, who are you? It's our first two-time guest. First two-time guest, show, dude. Bang! It's an FOTS right here. Yeah, this is a friend of the show. People don't know what FOTS is. I kind of like the mystery. We They'll should probably clarify out. what it is. They'll figure it out. Yeah, he's it's a really friend, not that friend of the show. Yeah. Nasser Ahmed, one of the biggest Lakers fans we know. Oh, absolutely. Oh, shit. That's, you found it? Yeah, it was that. Is that the house? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to cut that up. <laughs> yeah, because people know what that means. Yeah. At the house. <laughs> so it was go. at the house. Sorry, I just needed to change hats. <laughs> <laughs> Nasser, you are a Laker fan, buddy. So how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling fantastic. First thing I said <laughs> when I came in is jerseys and glasses stay on the entire pod. Were you part of burning down L.A. the past few days? Were you there? I wasn't. Okay. No, those were I, protests. Yeah. No. Those <laughs> <were>. Protesting <laughs> the Clippers? You know, yeah. protesting the lack of respect, honestly. Yeah, it was okay. an intervention for oh, Steve okay. Mommer's coke oh, habit. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. it, was, it was, um, was one of the best days of my life. If I had a cigar, I'd be smoking it right now. Yeah, dude. So, um, what's up with the Laker fans that still don't like LeBron? Can you expand on those guys? What What, what do you What do you, you know, do? About how many those of those guys? guys do you know? I know a good amount that were against LeBron coming there. That are still like, I, I, still still like yeah, yeah 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 he hasn't got it. That are like I'll take the title, but also still fuck this guy. Yeah, still I don't really. What, what's up with him. those guys? Explain those guys. I can't explain those guys. Those guys are wrong. Guys are, guys I mean, weird I things. was on board immediately. The The thing about being a Lakers fan is you can hate other stars because they're not as good as your stars, but the minute they become your stars, you're well, all Well, here, Here's the thing. If you base the last eight years, LeBron's been better than anyone on your team. Yes. That's the best player to play there since... Since like... Like 20... Since, since pre-Achilles Kobe. Since Josh Absolutely. Hart? Best player since Josh Hart in L.A.? Look, there was a <laughs> there was a moment with Earl Clark for a minute. <laughs> like it was called Kendall Marshall. It was an eight game stretch called Clark. Robert Sanity. Zachary. Bro, yeah, you guys. Bro, have you seen that Clark picture standing? of like, dude? I'm on Lakers Twitter a lot, and they always show us the the side by side roster picks. They're like, I was a fan <laughs> when this happened, and the starting lineup is like. Jordan Clarkson, Rob oh, Sopper, yeah, how about Tarek this, Black. This <laughs> like, season, they'd always compare the starting lineups from, like, this starting lineup compared to, like, this date in 2013. And it's like, yes. you know, like, one player. Yes, exactly. <sighs> yeah, dude. You get over I there? I still can't hear in the headphones. I can't hear shit either. Just talk. Whatever. So, guys, if the, if the audio is um, messed up, it's because we have no idea why. We have no idea the why, The headphones dude. decided to not work today. Technical difficulties, more like... Uh, <sighs> It's what we do here. What more like uh, what's today? More like Wednesday. It's Thursday. Just a normal Wednesday over here at below the. Oh, room. it's Thursday. Oh shit, dude, we gotta. Oh yeah. do the promo. Terrence Ross episode's out now. Yeah, yeah, go check Hope it out. You guys like that? <laughs> go check you it out. For sure, already saw that <laughs> on saw all this. platforms. <laughs> you guys are uh, in a tight ship here. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We forget when shit drops. <laughs> this is why we've had to fire so many people because yeah. they're not on our schedule. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. There used to be ten people behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't even know. <laughs> There's only five. Yeah, yeah, and they know that their jobs at stake every day. 
Um, and that's how you should. That's how you should run it. Steve Jobs, like you know. Yes. Steve Jobs couldn't program. Did you guys know that he couldn't code? That's usually how it is. The guy who runs shit can't usually do. That. Yeah, that guy's a He's fraud. Usually- no, well, he think started so. it, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. You would think he would. No, yeah. he did. People who run, like, huge businesses aren't usually doing the dirty work, bro. Yeah, but, like, he like wouldn't even. Oversee. But he never would even give credit. Steve Jobs is, oh, like, one of the true. most egotistical. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure got an ego. They all so, said it was the other guy, like, Wozniak, who was, like, the real brains. Yeah. And Steve was just Steve like, was just let's the make face. it look cool. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that sells. Yeah. Um, fuck Steve Jobs. But uh, listen, dude. On an unrelated note, I guess we should. <laughs> oh God! What the um, hell are you gonna talk about? Where do the Lakers go next year, and do they re-sign Danny Green? Danny Green has a two-year contract, so he's there next year. Yeah, already. I think it's up to him. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really and by re-sign, I mean not trade. <laughs> See, this is what I want to talk about. <laughs> Hold up. I, what was KCP's deal? Is KCP coming back? He better so be. I feel like, they, I like KCP at this KCP point is more valuable to the Lakers. Than played, he's gonna KCP back. played very well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's honestly turned like at the beginning of the season, everybody was so on his head. Yes. But like everybody, I I even I think like KCP's good. He um he's a good player. He he's not uh, as trash as we all thought, <laughs> bro. I never thought he. Yeah, was you trash. did. <laughs> yes, you did. No, it was just his shot selection. Sometimes. Look, listen. I will it's like a better openly Jr. say <laughs> that I participated in the cyberbullying of KCP. Really? Yeah, what about Danny Green? Laker Nation <laughs> does Danny not Green. care about mental Bro, health. Yeah, huh? they, they do not. No, huh? and it's uh, it's very toxic. But every now and then, I get I jump into the that mosh pit. Have you, have you jumped on Danny minute, Green? The minute that all of Lakers Twitter turned against KCP, he turned his game around. True. And Lakers no Twitter took credit for that. They said we <laughs> single handed literally. If you so go on Lakers that. Twitter, they're like we single handedly made KCP a better player. Yeah, and so they were trying to do the same with Danny. Yeah, Green explain Danny playoffs. Green to me. Yeah. Um, okay, here's my thing. I Nasser. regret none of my criticism. Why? <laughs> why do fans, because they're a fan of a team, think they could talk to a player that way on social media like they're not real? Mm. And then, and then when the player plays better, they go, "All right, yeah, he listened to me." Okay, I'll be on. Like, obviously, you can't go too far. Bro, you know, we like saw people, guys that are actively, I'm not going to say names, that are actively celebrating the Lakers championship as fans uh, <laughs> call Markeith Morris on their story and added him a fucking bum. Get the fuck off the team. That's what he said to him. And then two days later when they won hey, the trophy, real, he said, this is for Kobe. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but still, Marke- I mean, Mark- he had a point about Markeith Morris. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You can still win and recognize... Like, Markeith Morris is all the way bad. The weaker links of your team. But, at this point, I don't care. We I mean, like, as long as you bring back AD and LeBron, you're going to run Next year, back. though, <laughs> I don't expect to see a lot of these players. Yeah, we were talking about that. La- yeah. LeBron uh, keeps his rosters pretty flexible. Yeah. Everyone's on, like, one- to two-year deals. Yeah, he keeps them, like, he keeps like them his on his <laughs> yeah. He stretches them every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day people are worried that they're going to yeah. they're gonna be gone. And that's, how, that's, the, that's the toxic uh, leadership of LeBron James, and that's why he wins so much. Yeah. If every day you show up to work, like, fuck, dude, I could not be here tomorrow. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure, you know? Just got to hit open threes. If that's all you really have to do. <laughs> yeah, dude, it really is. Although, I, I got to give guys like Rodney Hood a little bit of, of uh, flack. Remember when Rodney Hood played on the Cavs? I don't think I've was... ever heard that sentence before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about, what, what were you getting to? I agree. But, he's, not, he's a good, he's Because he's the way like people Hood. were hammering Rodney Hood, like, you do have to adjust playing with LeBron. Yeah, Rodney Hood was always like right. a like, like first, you don't like first get, second option on his shitty teams that he was on. Like going to play with LeBron. Yeah, bro. People will hammer LeBron's teammates sometimes for like not making shots, but it's like, bro, I haven't touched the ball in six possessions. That's true. Like LeBron will literally just hold that bitch for the whole. I clock. always wonder <laughs> like, when it's going to happen when a coach decides to move away from LeBron being the heavy ball handler. It won't happen. Like, when are you going to get a flow offense? Because as a fan, too, watching every single game, it's a bit frustrating sometimes just watching him. I, that's why you guys got to bring up. back Rondo. Yeah. Rondo's huge. Oh, Rondo's huge. Rondo's Absolutely. so big, dude. LeBron becomes the system. That's why he loses in the finals sometimes because it's like it's all on him. Right. So, like, you play a team like the Warriors. I mean, Steph, bro, Steph doesn't even – Steph and Clay, like, they could not dribble for a whole quarter and combine for, like, 30 points well, in a quarter. Well, you be catch and shoot, guys. But that's what I'm saying, though, like – 
there's still so much movement. I mean, I know, mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? Even yeah. if you're not a catch and shoot guy. For sure, I, needed like just another good ball handler. Like a guy like Rondo is like Ron or like LeBron's like one of his best teammates, like highest IQ he's probably ever played with. Rondo, him? yeah, oh, Rondo. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude, like Rondo's smart, top top ten all time IQ. Like him and LeBron, for sure on the same level thinking the game. They, I think they got to bring him back for sure. Yeah, yeah. dude, he's I, necessary. Yeah, I heard they get mad about playoff Rondo or Rondo does. That shit's got to be annoying to hear. Like, yeah, because like, oh, I get up for the playoffs. Everyone gets yeah. up for the playoffs. What are you talking about? Well, I, I think it's more of a compliment. Like, he elevates his game. Like, but his numbers don't really change. Just, dude, he, sh- he has become, like, like, an actual okay shooter. Like, he's not a terrible oh. shooter. Do you I think ever, some of that was the bubble? I no, feel like everyone no, shot dude, better I, I think the bubble. Does, I think it's just getting older. Like, he's... In, he's like 33, 34 that was, now. Like he's, is, part he, of it is getting older and practicing that yeah. shot more. Part of it Over is the years. Teams still leave him wide. Yeah, dude. They disrespect the fuck Yeah, because out it's like him. ingrained in your head that Rondo yeah, can't it, shoot exactly. from like 2010. But like, you got to respect it now. I think in the bubble, he was shooting like 40%. No, he did. He made he, sh- he shot, I think, 20 of 50. And yeah, for yeah, some reason, like every time he hits one, the defense and the commentators act shocked. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, Rondo possible. for yeah, three. You're like, bro, he's kind of been, been doing that for a year now. Yeah, he hits one every game. Think, yeah, much. we got to stop overreacting when Rondo hits a three. Yeah, how about when any pro hits a wide open shot? I, I hate yeah. I hate when guys are like, oh can you believe God. that? Yeah, 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 I dude. can, I can. He's really <laughs> feeling it tonight. Dwight Howard finished off game six with, with a, a three, three yeah. from the logo. <laughs> from the logo. <laughs> yeah. And, and logo he made Howard, it, and I was baby. like, oh, but I wasn't shocked. I'm like, no. yeah, the, all these guys are in practice now. Dude, yeah, if you watch those open gyms of JaVale McGee, like he hits Hezo threes, uh, dude. All the time, yeah, his arms JaVale. are just way too. They're just like long yeah. levers. Like he, yeah, like he has no control over those things. I, know, I remember it was a way bigger deal. Remember in like the mid two thousands on Sports Center, they'd always put it in like the top ten, like a big man hitting a three. Yeah, now it's not making it. Now it's just like yeah, it's like yeah, I expect Brooke Lopez to shoot seven of those today. That's actually dis- <laughs> Brooke Lopez is disappointing to me a little bit. That guy was a great post player. But like, yeah, he's become more of like a. But on the Bucks, he's just a pop shoot three. On the Bucks, they need him. They'd rather yeah, have. I guess. Him just I guess where he threes. is, it works. I wonder if he went somewhere else. If he'd go back to the block more, but he's yeah, he is really like a. Well, he started that player. three. He started that bullshit on the Lakers. Where you remember that one Bro, year at yeah. the Lakers? Every and yeah. the Lakers Twitter, I was be like, Brooke, stop shooting. Yeah. You think Brooke would be a good fit with this, these Lakers? With how he plays now, absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, yeah. In fact, we just let him go for no reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, it's weird how like successful the Lakers have been in like building this roster, but also fucking up like astronomically along the whole way. Oh, we had to trade everything to get to this point. <laughs> we have no future at the moment. Really We're going day out. by dude, day. but people, just I year saw by your roster. I saw yeah. somebody in a comment section trying to argue that the Pelicans still won the trade for the future, which is just simply not true. Yeah, dude. Unless they they've yet win, to make the playoffs, unless they win two rings. How do they win the yeah. trade? Like the Lakers already got their they got a ring out of it. I mean, they got a lot of draft picks. Yeah, yeah they do have hella. But those picks. draft picks are not going to be very good anymore. Because dude, I hate this idea yeah, that they're like good, they're you're a successful. Yeah. This is why like Danny Ainge pisses me off. Is like you're you're considered successful by stockpiling picks and like having a good team, but never getting to the game or winning it. At a certain point, like you're like. When are you going to go in and just win this? Win a finals? That is that is Danny Ainge. Like, how often are you going to keep going? But our future, but our future. Like, are you going to win or to, what? You need to pull the trigger. Yeah, and, and Danny Ainge it. never does that, dude. But as a GM, Danny Ainge just put together like a good roster and got a good coach. Like, you can't put it on Danny Ainge. I, I know think. it's kind of on the players at this point. Like, the, the Celtics players, are good. The Celtics right are now, have a just good roster. For, like Jason Tatum to become yeah. a superstar. I think it's only He's a matter there. of time. I think I don't think you blow up the Celtics yet. I think next year he will. No, I didn't suggest blowing them up. They definitely need more depth. Yeah, they need more depth down low for sure. Inside their their front court sucks. Dude. They have no shot against like the off Lakers, the bench, like how they're built. They're just small and no, yeah, no bench. Yeah, what Tice, do you do with Gordon Tice Hayward? Was solid. You gotta get you gotta solid, move. but dude, I like Tice, but he can't be your only. Did you pick. know Gordon Hayward had like a really good year statistically? Like it's I didn't know that until the other day. But, but, it's, but it's super inconsistent. Well, but he averaged like seventeen, six, and four or something. Yeah, but like, but like you don't know which you're Gordon Hayward you're like gonna get. Thirty million dollars too. Yeah, but you don't it's know. It's not what, what they expected they were getting. I agree, but and it's the, not his fault. But did they expect really. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum to be this good this fast? Probably I mean, Jason I would assume. Tatum. Honestly, they're top five picks. Let's stop gassing top five picks. When top five picks start balling, let's stop going. Oh my God! Look at the evolution. Yeah, bro, we expected that. That's why yeah, you got you drafted third. Pick. If you're a second round pick and you start balling, then it's like, yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, this one dude on Twitter have. always has a rule like you shouldn't give most improved to top draft picks, and I agree. You shouldn't yeah. get most improved if you're a top 10 pick. Yeah, that's You were supposed to be there at some point. Like, hats off for improving, but you got drafted third. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's about time you start averaging yeah, 20. I feel that. I mean, the whole point is from season to season. I'm all right with it. <laughs> yeah, if if, the, if, if it's like if it's an an, if Anthony Bennett if Anthony Bennett's second year just went out and scored, dude, if Anthony game, Bennett came back, <laughs> he's getting now, most improved. Just made buckets. We gotta we gotta hit up Anthony Bennett. We gotta get him on. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, you get <laughs> Be a really Bennett. sad talk, <laughs> bro. We met. I met him that one time, so I'll, I'll bring oh, yeah. that up. Yeah, he'll remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Riley, I remember no you. Way. That was you. Oh uh, no, dude, I don't ever expect. Do you know some guys will say to like a really famous guy? Not that anything that's so famous, but mm-hmm. <laughs> but they'll say like, "Oh my god, do you remember me?" That's some. <laughs> like, that's so- I wouldn't just. Get, I was hey, at- while you're at it, get on your knees. <laughs> yeah. While you're at it, get on your knees. Dude, Open your mouth. I would not say that to somebody that I knew well. Like I wouldn't say that to like a friend. I'm like, do you remember this one time we met? Like, remember I I at coffee bean dude, just, I was, just, if you if you go through the situation in your head if you say do you remember me what happens when they say no like, like you don't uh, th- you clearly didn't think it through if you're asking you remember me because once they say no man that's so awkward lebron you know, remembered that there? one grizzlies fan that one time do you remember that or lebron just Which lebron grizzlies is gonna fan? say yes no matter what <laughs> no because he said like last time you were he like brought something up from the last time he saw her oh yeah lebron's got her? a crazy memory was it the bongo lady yeah, I think it was her, the Grizzlies lady. Dude, I know the Isn't bongo that your friend's lady. mom? I know the bongo lady. No, maybe it wasn't the bongo lady, but you do Dude, know one, her. One of my Grizzlies super fan. Lady. There's a lady, super explain fan. her. One of my uh, good friends in an undergrad, un- undergrad her, her mom, they're from Memphis, and her mom is the Grizzlies super fan. She goes to every game. Hell yeah. She has special seats, and she's known as the bongo lady because they always show like bongos on the on the jumbo screen and then you pretend like you're playing them and one time she just went bananas playing the bongos uh-huh. and they just made her like the super fan <sighs> wow wow dude we're only like 15 minutes in dude i can't believe we talk about this a lot i can't believe rogan does these for like three hours like four or five times a week yeah but with people on, he's never he's met he's on a lot of um supplements and medication yeah, bro, on he, it that's the thing that's, <laughs> yeah, bro, we're sitting here, we're all sitting on, here on caffeine and that's it like, yeah, dude. Also, like he's he has like mushroom coffee. Yeah, dude. He's, like, he's like, <laughs> like neurotropics. I don't, I'm afraid to. I studied that stuff. I'm afraid to take it. Like, it's not. He's like, yeah, I drink stem cells before every podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's like that South Park episode. He's like, yeah, I just take it right out of the. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yo, dude, yeah. Also, a funny thing is, I, I'm staying with my parents this week. Oh shit! And I told them, and they asked me where I was going. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going on a uh, Riley's podcast. <laughs> and these psychopaths just went, okay, have a good time. No questions asked. <laughs> As if that was a normal thing for me to say. <laughs> oh, Nasser just doing his podcast. Dude, but, they're not like with it with technology. Do they too. know what a podcast is? A lot, of, people don't, a lot of our parents don't know what podcasts no, know. are. But if they didn't know, they would have yeah. asked a question. Yeah. Oh, so that's they're, the thing. they're down with it. Okay. That's the thing. They're, like, that's so... Like, oh, that's, that's not what, an abnormal thing anymore. That's what the kids do these it's days. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go be on my friend's podcast. I go, like, yeah, where's the studio? I'm like, in his living in room. In his living room. <laughs> yeah. This Last makes- time it was in his bedroom, but this time it's in his living room. Yeah, it's <laughs> upgrading. This is our makeshift studio until our furniture is all done. I hope by the time this releases, I think this will all be done too. Because this will yeah. be out. This will be out probably October, tw- probably October 29th if you're watching this today. Yeah, around yeah. Halloween or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so what you got any Halloween plans? Should we do a Halloween episode? <laughs> just should we do some scary shit? For <laughs> we'll, we'll have something yeah. for Halloween. Hey, we'll do something for Halloween. Let's yeah, we'll do Halloween. something, bro. And you're just like, what if Giannis does join the Warriors? You're like, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, Giannis. Uh, yeah, he's out of there, right? We could Dude, all agree. Dude, who on was that. saying yeah. Jared Dudley? Did you guys listen? He was saying I got I got about, through about thirty minutes. He was saying you got to worry about Giannis going to the Mavericks. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, bro, that I've heard. That would be terrifying. Because I've just heard Miami just Golden State the for like a European year. European team. Yeah, the full <laughs> fucking foreign team. Bro. The Dallas foreigners. Let's go. Dude, that's the way to do it. I don't up. understand why. I mean, the Spurs kind of tried to do this, but just make one team where it's only European. All foreign. And just get like the best European Bro, at this point, world. with the way the league's headed, like you could lo- you could load a team with, with all your Europeans. Europeans. Yeah. You could be the best team in the league. Like, yeah, that would be the best team. That would be the best on paper roster in the league. For the it next would have five such years. a deep bench. 
Yeah. Bro, Giannis Porzingis. I don't think they'll be able to keep all those cards. That's your so. four or five. Oh, my God. Yeah, Giannis KCP, bro. And then with no, all the shooting. KCP, Giannis KP. <laughs> I mean, KP. Giannis and KCP. I mean, just forget about it. <laughs> Should I pack it in, rest of the league? Uh, dude, bro, yeah, Luca I, and Giannis. Uh, Giannis needs that guy who can go get a bucket. Like, that's Luca. I think Giannis really needs that guy. Do you think Luca just comes back ripped next summer? Or next I summer? hope not. I hope no. he stays a little chubby his whole career. Yeah, it's kind of funny it's that he doesn't right have an NBA yeah. body. Yeah. And he's doing he, he has, like nothing about him makes sense. Yeah, I mean, other than the fact that he's six eight, yeah, and super skilled. But like, I mean, the yes. way he gets by, we were talking about it with with Stanley. With, uh, yeah, it was a Stanley or Terrence. Yeah, insane touch that guy has. Yeah, Luca. Yeah. Yeah, touch is really underrated. I feel like not a lot of he's guys. Such have a good touch. passer, but then he, again, he's six eight. Like, how how sick would it be to be able to see the whole defense? Six eight. Like you usually, and he's playing point guard. He's got a lot of. He's always usually bigger than his matchup. He's always got like a little bit of an advantage, either weight or height, or both. Yeah, he's gonna either just bully you. As long as you have the size, I mean, athleticism is super important, obviously, but. Like you said, I, touch, I could argue that there's a lot of yeah. athletic guys that have no yeah. touch. They just clank it against the backboard. On I could argue this is the least a, important era for athleticism. Athleticism just matters way more, on, I feel like, on defense these days. Like, clearly with Luka. Yeah. Like, you don't need it on offense as much as you can. Would you guys agree? Skilled. I think athleticism is the least important today than it ever has been. It's going there, but I feel on defense, you still need to be athletic. You stay in front of the ball. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, see, you saw what now. people did. The fact that people... It took until the Lakers. This is what we were laughing about, too, is the Celtics could not figure out that heat zone. It's literally like a high school defense. Yeah. And the Lakers, like, torched that shit it, yeah. in two games. Because Rondo and LeBron are not putting up with that. You're not going to play a high school yeah, defense. You can't play as only as two of the smartest guys. But that was yeah. the difference also with the Lakers' size. Because instead, like, you have LeBron going into the middle. And then you and just then had you AD sitting down, on the block. Exactly. You could dump it down to AD on the block, or you had Dwight on the other side. And immediately look opposite. Like, no yeah, one on the Celtics big. knew, like, basic zone offense principles. Like, get it in the high post, look opposite, like, look to shoot. Yeah. They were literally just, like, running around for f- four games with their heads cut off. Yeah, it's true. And that's why you should fire Brad Stevens. And that's my hot take of the day. <laughs> Dude, Pete Buttigieg? <laughs> no, no. Coach, Coach Pete Buttigieg? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brad Stevens does look like Pete Buttigieg. How do you say it? Buttigieg? Buttigieg. Buttigieg. That would be so annoying to have to say that. Yeah, I'd be like, you know what? My name's Pete. Just Pete don't B, worry okay. about the last Pete, name. Pete, Pete, <laughs> yeah, yeah just call me Pete Butt. I don't Pete know Butt. Pete just, Butt. <laughs> just make up a nickname, uh, please. PB. Yeah, PB. That's my name. Uh, did you see anything interesting at all in the news? How are, these, how are you liking these debates, Nasser? Yeah, Nasser. Nasser is uh, my most informed, one of my most informed political friends, so... I do like to it's keep one of the, up One of the smartest you. guys we know overall. Yeah, yeah. Nasser, Nasser helps me form my opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I, say Nasser, I say, Nasser, what do we think about this? Yeah, I think it's like, Nasser, what the fuck should I say about this? Yeah, what are we going He's our with publicist here? at this Yeah, point. I say, Nasser, tell me I'm reading this right. They're saying, they're saying this? And yeah. he's like, well, yes, but they're also saying this. And I'm like, thank you, Nasser. Yeah, most of the time it's like, well, I haven't read about that, but here's what I think about <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, Nasser helps me stay an informed citizen. So, Nasser, how do you feel about the yeah, debates? Yeah, man, I, I didn't like, um, like any of them, but I wasn't surprised by them. Like, the first one with Trump and Biden was just a hot mess. I don't think so, anybody should have been surprised. Bro, and that's one thing I'm always telling people, like, about Trump. Like, the guy makes people play at his pace. You know what I mean? Like, he gets people rat. Like, I never seen I Biden he... insult people like that. Yeah, and well, first yeah. debate, he's telling them to shut up. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, he's, he called him stupid. Really he called him a really, clown. He really got him rattled. Biden called him a clown yeah. like four times. Yeah, yeah, really got you him. clown, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, but you watch that and you're like, it's clearly, it's clear who's like, fault this is right now like it would not be going this way if one person wasn't like being a little more no yeah no no i'm just trying like but like biden gives into the games i'm just saying like you can't you can't give it bro it's like it's like playing the rockets bro like are we gonna let them just shoot a bunch of threes are we gonna slow them down they're gonna play their game yeah they're gonna gonna play play their game every time you're gonna have to adjust you're gonna have to adjust biden Biden, that's true you gotta play small ball you gotta play small ball you know what i mean dwight and javel didn't play against the rockets yeah no you're right I mean, that one, I don't think it changed. 
That debate didn't change it. Bro, no, no I, I, I just, just don't know who's show. watching those. I think and everybody being like, a shit show on both sides. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody's made up just, their mind at this point. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think debate, debates aren't really swinging nobody, right? Yeah, I voted I'm, yesterday. Wait a second. <laughs> My yeah, question is, like undecided voter? What do you... Uh, what are you waiting for? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what, like, uh, what are you waiting on? The second like, debate's really going to change my mind. I just want to yeah. see, see who wins this next just, roast battle. Yeah, I think it's like, I think you're kind of an attention seeker if you're like, yeah, I haven't decided yet. Convince me. Like, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think? Like, you just want... Yeah, you're not really a, an adult that thinks for themselves if you still need convincing. Yeah. Like, yeah. no matter what, honestly, like, which are, like it's October, you know, you got to... You, they, you, they say, you know. Yeah, don't forget. They said about 15 million people have already turned in their ballots. I'm one of those. I actually know my ballot's sitting right there, but, but that it's was filled like out. From, that was like from a couple of days ago. So like by the end of the week, it'll be like 20. Double at least. At least yeah. yeah, bro. I'm really, uh, they got like almost all the NBA registered this year, which is good. But which is also crazy. That Dude, people they were weren't. bragging about it in the yeah. bubble. They're like, yeah, we got a, about 80% of the guys registered. I'm like, 80%? Bro, when they <laughs> went to the bubble, about well, this it was way lower than that. When they went to the bubble, it was only like 20% were registered. Yeah. Which, is, which made me really mad because I'm like, man, like, I'm with you guys. Like, I fully support everything that's going on in the NBA. And then you're just not registered, you're like not, registered. not even registered. Dude, like, dude, how wrong. many guys that said that had vote on the back of their jersey who weren't registered, or have <laughs> never voted, or have never yeah, voted? Yeah, yeah. it was I'm, just I'm, it I'm just curious. felt very like, really what curious. are we doing, bro? Like three steps forward, like ten steps back. Like why are we? Yeah, why are we not registered? Oh. Guys? Uh, yeah, mybookie.com slash BTR. Ten percent off. <laughs> My bookie, if you if you're looking, you look into that's the uh, way to do it. Just start doing fake ads. Just fake ads. <laughs> Hey, you want to do fake I ads? I use you guys every weekend. Bro, it's like Tim Dillon, bro. You could do fake business. Yeah. We're doing fake business. This is fake business. <laughs> hey, Below the Rim Podcast, sponsored by Viagra. No, Viagra, dude. Blue Chew. What are you talking about, Viagra? Yeah, yeah we... Or rum and or those swipes. Podcast. We're down for the swipes, too. Yeah, swipes. We'll go for rum and swipes. wipes. Any of you guys want longer. Yeah, dude. I don't know what the swipes... A couple that idiots to no sense read your to ads. <laughs> Yeah, bro. But yeah, here takes a, take this Clorox wipe. <laughs> you use way too many. You're just like, man, um, I don't think I'm supposed to go this long. <laughs> it's been like two hours. You're like, I'm. Tr- I swear to God, I'm. Tr- I got to give it to the Roman wipes. They really do make you last longer. <laughs> uh, like hour three, you're just like both dying. <laughs> yeah, dude. Blue it's apron, completely dry. Below the rim podcast. <laughs> Are you tired of cooking at home? <laughs> Below the rim, Blue Apron. <laughs> oh no, dude. Um, dude yeah, not, so sports betting, sports though, betting, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to get into it. You guys, so since basketball's ending, we're gonna have to fill some type of space here. So we're gonna be uh, talking a little sports betting. Yeah, dude. So tell us, you're a big sports gambler, right? I would not call How much money did you lose this week? <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's not. I I'm a very novice sports better. You're not, I, you're not I, betting just game by game, right? You're throwing. I do like parlays. Teas- okay, parlays, teasers. Yeah, teasers. so like, so you can bet like a little bit to win more. So I, I uh, last weekend sucked. Last weekend sucked. As did the weekend before, correct? <sighs> no, the weekend before I broke even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and before that, broke even again, bro. I'm not, I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm not bad. If not you're a breaking even, win you're in three good. weeks. He said, yeah, <laughs> no, broke no, even, hey, broke no, even, no, no, lost. No, no, no. But I'm beating. How do you my- break even in a parlay? It doesn't make sense. You, you just ha- get all. You don't your have money back? one parlay going. If you only have one going, you're you got to cover all your bases. So okay, so you got to gamble wrong, a lot. This, you, no. Oh, okay. You got to have a brain, Riley. What sports do you gamble on most? Football, yeah. Football, tennis, hockey, swimming. Tennis. You gamble no, on? I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Only, I like, swear to God, like, I only, guys got a problem. I swear to God, I swear to God, only, in the third set, baseball, basketball, and the election. That's the only things I. Sh- I What's the about. over under on Serena breaking her racket today? And she doesn't break her racket that often. She breaks her racket. All I actually do watch. There's a whole YouTube compilation of Serena Dude, Williams. The only thing I'm gonna rackets. say, yeah, is but she she's just played a lot of matches. It's she's funny like, though. People yeah, are like, she's just so passionate. I'm like, bro, she's. Kind of being a bad sport, you don't think? <laughs> the men do it too. The men do it too. Yeah, though. but also like lately. every sport, people yell like when they fuck up, they get pretty mad. Like, what yeah. are you gonna do? And tennis, what can you do other than break around? No, it's just such a tennis, funny tennis expression. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but what are you gonna do? That's the thing. Tennis, you can't just like yell curse words be, because everybody hears. There's just going one. On everybody's court. looking at one, or two people on the court. Yeah, and everybody there is just so wealthy and just like well off and just like yeah, trying to like, just like, enjoy their yeah, Sunday and yeah, not break a sweat. Yeah, dude. They're I just like the hats with like the visors where they're just like all in their fucking little 
People who go to tennis matches are just pussies, honestly. <laughs> Those yeah. people are. Dude, I cannot <laughs> wait to go to a tennis match. <laughs> I'm gonna go to one. So, so like, bad. like you <laughs> like said, said. I <laughs> that's like you say that. I'm not disagreeing with you. I just want to go real bad, bro. I'm down to go to like a big tennis event. I'm not saying tennis players, or tennis people who play tennis are pussy. People who go to tennis, matches. yeah, tennis yeah. is hard. Unless you're related to the person playing tennis, you're a pussy. Yeah. Dude, I think if you Sorry. buy a seat in the middle of the court, center court, that, that's a bad. Center court's the worst place to be. I feel like you'd want to be like in the end zone. Yeah, you want to be on the sides. Bro, do uh, this. <laughs> oh, game, dude, just pick one uh, side and stick with it. Yeah, you want to sit in the middle, right? Mid side, mid mid. I'd rather sit in the back. No, Look no, straight you on. sit behind. Yeah, one behind. Of the, one oh, of the so it's not that big of a this. court, bro. The, yeah, the court's not huge. Side. I feel like the court is small enough where I could just be like, I don't gotta do all this. Yeah. <laughs> I could just be like, well, this. you're obviously not sitting close enough to the court. That's where I. Play. Yeah, that's why you would sit a little further up. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> anyways, in more interesting uh, news, um, what do you think's going on with Delia, guys? We haven't talked about Delia since you've been on the podcast. That's Chris <sighs> Delia. De- I feel like Delia hasn't shaved. Comedian. Since the, since yeah. the thing. He just got like a huge beard going. He's just. Nobody's heard from him since the Twitter allegations, except for his little statement he released. Um, yeah, it is pretty wild that he. I mean, I, I guess he does have the money to just go ghost. And not do anything for a little while at least. When like, do you think he starts? He's got to, a, maybe yeah. he sells his house. I when are the just, when do the dents come? In? When do the dents come? Yeah, Delia. When, when are the dents coming? Still no dents, dude. Here's the most I'll, dense. I'll be honest. <laughs> every single dents. every single week, I Google like Chris Delia. What's he up? What to? is Chris Delia doing? That's in my Google search. Yeah, I just should. trying to see. And there is and there is nothing new. Yeah, haven't seen him at a coffee shop. Good and bad, I guess. Yeah, what is he doing? Is he Uber eating everything? Dude, honestly, I hope that he is. He said yeah. that he would like seek help and stuff, like maybe see a therapist about whatever. I hope he's just actually it doing seems that all for like for a full solid year. He comes back like super religious. But here, <laughs> no, here's my here's my question: What if somebody does like is doing that type of behavior that he was? So what, he was I guess doing? what he did wasn't. What, what, did it come out to be like illegal or was it just weird? No, it wasn't illegal. Um, but it was like okay, you gotta let people come back. Then you gotta give people. People deserve second chances. Yeah, you gotta let people. Good. You gotta let people fuck good. up and better themselves. Unless they did. Like he didn't. That's my. Question. I don't want to use the R word, but if he R worded somebody, then you for sure. Dude, that's that's my question. That's like though. different. So like all this behavior, it wasn't illegal, but it was definitely weird. People wrong. People are allowed to be weird. Wrong and you know <laughs> we're weird, dude. Plus, like a comedian, I expect a comedian not okay. I don't expect a comedian to be dude. Like if he was grooming people, that's bad. But like I'm saying, comedians on the road, like comedians are, on the road, I don't expect them to be good guys. Yeah, they're gonna be dogs. Do you and think not, no, not even just dogs. It's like dogs I just don't. Off, ex- that's what they are. Dog. I just leash. don't know why like people have a moral compass. Like comedians aren't. That does ser- usually like good people. I think you can expect people to be good people at least. I, I don't expect a guy who goes around the country <laughs> for the time he's like 25 till 40 telling just jokes. telling jokes. I to don't expect w- him to just be like a normal, not weird. Yeah, but you can expect them to not be like creepers in that in that sense that he was. I'll say they don't have to be doing what he was just, doing. The thing I'm saying is like if he if say, if say he does see like um a therapist who helps him with like whatever if he is does have like some sex addiction or some type of weird thing where he couldn't stop that are you saying sex addiction's weird nasser no no i'm saying like shame he reposted he liked it i think he's gonna repost it right now yep he just reposted on his podcast fuck yeah thanks perfect is he gonna repost on his main though that's we'll see but either way we're gonna get all his podcast listeners now dude ask him what he thinks about crystal yeah big time you, Bro, guys talk to, we, you guys talked to him about comedy, we, right? We did talk to him about comedy just a little bit. He gave us his top five. The reel I'm dropping today, he dropped his top uh, five bro. comics. Oh, sick. What? That's his regular one. Can you read that? His, his personal account? He just saw it? No, but he can't. He, he said he'll post it. He'll go look, bro. Because he saw that I posted and tagged his both. But he says he can't see your message requests from everybody. Oh, uh, he turned that off. We're not friends, Terrence? Come on, Terrence. Not we're friend, buds. Friend of the show. Next time we have him on, we have the F-O-T-S. nerve to post friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> FOTS turning guest. Bro, it is funny though when we exited both those interviews, we were like, "You're welcome on anytime, man." Yeah, and we're we, gonna say that every time. Yeah, uh, they're just like, "No, oh, damn well. like, yeah, totally." Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Dude, <laughs> speaking of top five, dude, speaking of top five comics though, 
Nate Bargatze, I think, has made it into my top five. You guys were Bro, watching him yesterday, right? We were watching him last night. I heard really? a couple Actually, jokes that made I was showing Phil and Paul his special. They were dying. His special? Dude, his special's great. Yeah, no, Nate Bargatze is hilarious. Uh, he's a pretty big sports fan, too. He likes Vanderbilt because he's really? from, like, Tennessee uh, yeah. and stuff. But also just a, I mean, talk about, like, uncontroversial guy. Is but it, those I guys, know, I honestly don't okay, know. Okay, now, I don't think it's with him. Because he comes off as a real wholesome guy and, like, just I've listened to his podcast and stuff, so he seems, like, fine. But some of those clean comics are, I feel, and that's why, like, they're, the Ellen shit. They're covering for something. They're covering, like, if someone's, like, I'm clean, wholesome, I don't even swear. Like, and some people, like, we know people who don't swear that are actually good people. Yeah. But there's a level of, like, certain that people are, who don't swear that are, like, famous dude, for especially telling if jokes. you're a comic, too. Like, you're a little fucking weird and off like well, you, and all their not be like a little bit weird and like all their be completely jokes clean are all based the time is around so someone sus. yeah around someone being stupid like yeah. the way they talk about how dumb people are what do you mean these clean comics yeah like the clean comics and they're like uh what do you think like they kind of do it like that like some clean comics are funny like maniscalco is hilarious you don't think he's funny he doesn't swear at all huh I've never yeah, heard him. Yeah, a little bit. But, like, yeah, he's not talking about pussy and stuff. Bro, Maniscalco no, is all of our older Italian Bro, he's our older favorite uncle. comics. Dude, my, yeah, <laughs> my, dude, like my brother uncle. loves Maniscalco. My older brother loves him. He's, he's funny, bro, yeah. but I could see why if you're maybe not Italian, you wouldn't think he's as funny. Yeah, yeah he really, really leans into being Italian. He leans it. So I, it's funny for us because everything he's saying is pretty on point. About it how, it like, is all, on point. All the women in the family are just, like, gossiping and talking about yeah bullshit. and how he's got like a thing about like telling your parents to lower i mean that's a true across i feel like all yeah. races yeah but honestly, telling but yeah. your parents a lower price for something you bought or dude, putting a lot of butter in all the food dude i, I mean. was running an open <laughs> mic last year and yeah. this guy would come on it i forget nasser's a comedian if you oh know. yeah nasser's Nasser a part-time comedian part-time oh, yeah, yeah, yeah when he's not when he's not studying that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I'm not studying. I can't even call myself a comedian at all. No, nah, It's dude. a good two truths and a lie. Dude, no, no, no. Um, dude, because like, think about it, bro. Like, we do a podcast. We don't make any money from we're it. Podcasters. Are we not podcasters? Yeah, we've done 12 episodes, That's dude. That's fair. <laughs> but right? I was running this. You've done 12 open mics, at least. Oh, at least. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Dude, Nestor's done a lot. He was in charge dude, of the I'm, comedy club. Yeah. I was, yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> been, UCLA. I knew that you like put like guest lists together and like that, but I didn't know you've done it over like 12. Like, how many times do you think you've done it? I mean, over two years going at least like twice a week. Oh, this guy's a, this guy's a comedian. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck yeah, is this guy? Well, You're not on listen, Comedy Central yet? Listen, they didn't, they didn't go well. <laughs> dude, some of them went pretty well, though. I've People didn't you. laugh. No, they laughed, right? Yeah, there is laughing. <laughs> but he also had to perform for UCLA kids. Let's understand those kind of kids. Yeah, they don't you know, know what you. I mean. Well, no. I just want to talk to me to throw a It's only been a year. You don't know me. And I'm screaming R.I.P. to call R.I.P. to Kobe. Oh, he's a lefty. Kind of like Janelle Blake. Janelle Blake. That was last year. You don't know me. Uh-huh. That was last year. That's the old me. Witching. Shorty want to curse me. Curse, curse.